Is there a 24-hour sun in Antarctica? So welcome to the show. I'm the Daniel, the influencer, and today I have 10 questions for you to help you influence me on why you think there is a 24-hour sun in Antarctica. Leave a comment or you can send me a link uh, to your answer if you want to make a video about it, and I will um, gladly gladly listen to why you think there is a 24-hour sun in Antarctica. And I will try to understand your definition of a sunset because I know this is hard to comprehend, but my definition of a sunset is different than your definition of a sunset. So we have an earth and you say there's a curve and I say I can't see the curve. Then you send me a GoPro image and I say, that's coming from your camera. Then you say, no, you can see it with the naked eye on an airplane. And I go, no, that's a straight line. No, the horizon rises to my eye level. And then you say, no, horizons don't rise to your eye level. And then you even show me pictures, faking images, making it look like it doesn't rise to your eye level. Enjoy these pictures that show the horizon below eye level, proving that this is a dumb lie. But every time I'm on an airplane, I see it rise to my eye level. Not only... Do I experience that? The word says horizon, horizontal horizon. It's in the word. Just like sea level means having no higher part, meaning it's perfectly straight. It's perfectly flat. Hey, go get the level to make sure the driveway is level, meaning make sure it has no higher point. Make sure it's straight. Therefore, it would be impossible for it to be a ball if that word were true to the action. But your words to actions are different than mine. Your definition of sea level means that it's curving to a ball. And then you tell me you can see it, but I can't see it. And then when I say, hey, I experienced something different, when I'm not there, apparently, apparently it's curved. It's crazy. So now there's this situation where they're saying, there's a 24-hour sun in Antarctica. Deep in the Antarctic Circle where the sun don't set. But it's only in the place where you're not allowed to go. So is it in Argentina? Is it in South Africa? Is it in New Zealand? Is it in Australia? No. So the reason I bring up those places is because in the Northern Hemisphere, in Alaska, in Norway, in Sweden, there's a 24-hour sun. Interesting. Interesting. But in the South, there isn't. The globe even has to move their model 5 million miles closer to the sun because the sunsets are different. And if it were the same, you would have 24-hour suns just like you have 24-hour suns in the North. And people think there's a 24-hour sun in Antarctica because they need it to be to be a ball. In Antarctic Circle, the sun can remain above or below the horizon for 24 hours is called polar day and polar night. A polar day is where it is 24 hours of continuous daylight. It occurs December 21st or 22nd every year. It is also called midnight sun. South of the Antarctic Circle, more than one polar day and polar night occurs per year. Now, I usually talk about why people want it to be a ball. It has to do with the universe. It has to do with plugging into it like a heaven. Their cell phone is coming from the power of the heavens through the satellite, and that gives them godhood when they tap into it. Now, it's really just pagans distributing technology and pretending like it comes from the star so you don't question them and you don't fight them when they manipulate the value and treat us like slaves. That's why they do it. But that's for other episodes. This episode, I just want to quickly ask you 10 questions and ask you why you think there's a 24-hour sun in Antarctica, and I will gladly listen to your answer if you answer my questions. So without further ado, here are my 10 questions for people that think there is a 24-hour sun in Antarctica. Number one. Why do they equate midnight suns with 24-hour suns? A polar day is where it is 24 hours of continuous daylight. It is also called midnight sun. 
And do you understand that that sounds deceitful and that sounds like a trick to someone that doesn't believe this earth is a spinning ball? Number two, do you understand that the sunsets in the north are different than the sunsets in the south? Do you think that it's possible that maybe you could even offer up a a flat earth believer tour where you, you take them, like at the very least, take them up to Alaska where it's light for so 23 hours a day. Earth. Number three, what is an almost 23 hour sun? And I highly recommend it because there's been about 23 hours of sunlight here. It seems like that anyway. Right now, I think it's about 10, 15. Take care. Have a great night. You stay warm. I'll try to do the same and talk to you soon. It's 1130 at night. I just want you to see how light it is out here. It's pretty wild. Number four. Is Is all of the above, is it a way to confuse people to fit the model of the globe and pretend like there's a 24-hour sun? Is that what's going on here? Number five. Is there a 24-hour sun in Antarctica? And is there a 24-hour sun in Antarctica for four, five, or six months. So in the summer, the South Pole or Antarctica is tilted towards the sun and receives the direct sunlight from the sun for about half the year. Some people say it's just in December. Other people say it's six months. Other people say it's five months. Other people say it's four months. Yes or no, four, five, or six months is a yes or no question. And if it is yes, then proceed to question number six. Question number six is, Is this footage showing sunsets in the four, five, or six-month period there's not supposed to be sunsets in Antarctica? So exhibit A is time-lapse footage from university students from New Zealand showing climate change stuff and showing, showing snow levels on mountains, and it appears to be showing sunsets in the months there aren't supposed to be sunsets in Antarctica. Is this video proof that the sun is setting when it's not supposed to be setting in Antarctica? Number seven, if it's only in December, why hasn't the government given us substantial video footage of this 24-hour sun? So when you look into it, you don't see a lot of good video footage of this 24-hour sun. And the video footage that you do see of this 24-hour sun looks like the sun's setting. It looks light and outside. They're... And then they're fast-forwarding till morning. And they're making it look like it never set. But they're not showing the sun in the sky for 24 hours. And why don't they do that? Number eight. Exhibit B is the most popular video showing this alleged 24-hour sun in Antarctica. Is this video footage doctored? I think it's fair to say that most flat earthers would agree that this video looks doctored. So as soon as that sun's about to set, they show you east on the video and they show you a clock to make it look like it's later in the day than it is. And it sure looks like the sun's setting and then ta-da, it rises again. Is that fake footage? And again, why hasn't the government shown us ample footage of these 24-hour suns? Number nine, if you've answered any of the above questions with the word, the final experiment, the last two questions are for you. So the final experiment is, is a bunch of YouTubers that are going to go to Antarctica with literally the worst flat earthers in the history of flat earth to film this 24-hour sun. My question for them is, how many hours of this 24-hour sun are you going to show the public? From 10 p.m. to 6 a.m., how many hours of that sun are you going to show on video? And are you going to show ample proof that It is that time, and it is that direction, and you are not editing the video footage. And number 10 is, why are you going to that glacier to show 
this alleged nonsense at? Is it because there's a mountain in the way and that sun goes right behind that mountain right during sunset? Is that why you're going there and it costs $50,000 to go and a guy like me can't go? Is that why? Are you guys trying to fake the fact that the sun doesn't set in Antarctica? The sun doesn't set in Antarctica because Antarctica isn't Antarctica. It's the Richard E. Bird ice wall and the earth is flat and on flat earth, the sun sets at the Richard E. Bird ice wall. And it seems like you guys are trying to fake it so you can have your fake heaven. And not have to admit that government should steal life and then give it back to us and enslave us to their prison they've created for us in our minds by stealing the power of the heavens.